Hey guys, I don't necessarily have a plan for this video. Um, I have a few ideas, but I just felt like sitting down and talking because I haven't done that in a while. I just thought I'd sit down and figure out what I'm going to talk about. And also, if you can hear the AC, the vent, I can't stop it. I tried, like, turning the AC down, but I don't, I don't, so that's on, sorry. <laughs> also, I got my blood drawn, so this is my battle scar, my wound, um, yeah. Uh, just keep me in your thoughts and your prayers, uh, hopefully that goes well. The real part that I'm not looking forward to is look at how far she taped this around. So I'm just gonna have to be like, Argh. it's gonna suck because this medical tape is so strong and so sticky. Anyways, just thought I'd point that out. I made that year vlog which you guys saw and then I went to Colorado to go to my college orientation which was so fun. I signed up for all my classes, I met some nice people, and someone actually recognized me uh, which was so weird when I was like putting my dirty tray into like this thing where all the dirty food went because we had lunch um, she's like do you have a YouTube and I was like oh hi there she's like behind working at the kitchen but so that was interesting didn't think that would happen but it did I know some of you guys have been asking what college I'm going to go to and I'm not gonna tell you I'm sure uh, you'll probably figure out once I go there and you're gonna see it but just for privacy reasons I don't know if I'm gonna blatantly say it at least I won't at the moment I have been trying this kind of summer to face my fears in a sense um, now when you hear someone like, oh, you should face your fears, it's like, okay, I'm afraid of spiders, I'm not gonna just go on a spider and like let it crawl on me. That might be a great way to face your fear, but it's not always applicable when people say that. It's something you hear all the time, but you don't really do it, if that makes sense. So I've been actually trying to put that into practice. It's not like, I'm gonna face my fear today, but I've been actively thinking about whether it be like fear or anxiety or anything's holding me back. So an example would be, this is before I went to orientation, there's an example there too, but I have always wanted to be able to draw and do art. Practice my artistic side a lot. I've scrapbooked, I've done polymer clay, have even done like needle felting. If you don't know what that is, you're probably normal. I am not, and I did that. Um, I'm starting to do just make things out of polymer clay again, just really dumb things. But it's something fun to do, and it passes the time. I do that, and I, like, I watch Dexter on my phone, and it's a great combo. Would recommend. So I would always be afraid to draw because I knew I was going to be disappointed in what I make. And I enjoy drawing, and I feel like, you know, I have ideas, but when I execute them, it just doesn't turn out how I want to. Um, so I have been, in a sense, facing my fears, or just kind of getting over that mental state of, oh, I can't do this, so I'm not going to, because it's embarrassing of what I make. So yeah, I have two of these Moleskine journals, or Moleskine, whatever. Um, the one on my mom's, this one, I just dedicate to, like, making lists, writing down things. Um, but the one at my dad's house, I've dedicated to drawing, because I have a whole separate, like, draw drawing paper book thing. Thing that I use to draw here. I'm just rambling now, but all my polymer clay scrapbook stuff is here, so I do like more um, physical arts here, and then I do like more drawings at my dad's, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does. Um, but yeah, I've just been drawing in a lot of the times, like I said, I will just scribble out everything, but I've been trying not to, just so that way I can look back and see where I was, and like, you know what, I'm not proud of this, but this is still what I've created. And a lot of the time I need a reference photo, which I don't like, so I've been trying also to just draw off my mind. For example, I used to hate drawing noses. I hate drawing hands, noses, things like that that I just don't know how to. And I have just kept practicing. I dedicated a whole little page in my journal to drawing a nose, and I kept doing it, kept doing it, and now I have somewhat a general idea of how to make a cartoon nose, not a realistic one, but a cartoony nose that looks decent. And so I would encourage you guys, if you have something like that that you've always wanted to try, whether it be arts or cooking or trying a sport, I'm not athletic, but sometimes it's fun. Like I did parkour for a few months. And so I would challenge yourself that if you have this mental state that you want to do something, but something dumb like believe you can't do it is holding you back, to fight that and try doing it instead. Another example of that is when I was at orientation, I am very socially awkward and shy at times. If I know someone, then I'm totally fine with a crowd. I can, you know, all these things and I try to tell jokes to kind of, you know, because if you want to talk to someone, here's my little cheat sheet. Make them laugh and also ask them about themselves because people love talking about themselves and people love to laugh. So that's how to meet people. Just letting you know, if you're socially awkward too, 
that's how to do it. Because I don't know anyone going to my college. I don't know a single person. That was a similar situation when I went to high school from middle school. I didn't know a soul. I left all my friends to go to this private Christian high school. I was so awkward. I would only talk to the people that would talk to me. And I was worried that it was going to be the same going to this giant public college. So I just tried to make a mental state that, okay, sometimes it's going to be awkward just to put yourself out there, but you should. And so, for example, um, right after we got into our groups, we were walking to like this place to do like icebreakers and these things and I was just walking by myself and I heard these two people, these two guys talking behind me about Minnesota. So I turned around and I said, oh are you guys from Minnesota? And they're like, yeah, where are you from? And I said where I'm from and they said where they're from and then I started talking. And just making that initial first step where I said something first, it helped me to open up to the rest of the group just because, okay, I was able to talk to them, now I kind of have a reference. Like I said, if I know one person, it's much easier to talk to the whole group than if I don't know a soul. Another thing that I've been kind of learning about myself or changing over this summer is when I went on my Europe trip, I have been more independent. I wouldn't say I would rely on other people, but I'm the type of person that would rather put your needs before mine, so okay, you want to go to this restaurant? I don't like it, but we're gonna go because of you. Or, are you okay? No, it's fine, I don't need this. You know, you have it. All these things that I would rather make other people happy than myself. But on that Europe trip, I started to realize that sometimes I like to just be by myself, not worry about anyone else's troubles or their happiness or their feelings, but my own. So if we go somewhere, I'll be like, no, I'll go there by myself. Or I just walk into a store by myself, or I'll be like, I'm gonna go over here, you guys go over there. I didn't do that a lot just because it's not safe. I've just been realizing that, yeah, sometimes I like to just keep to myself and not worry about anyone else's feelings. And that's gonna be weird for me in college, and I'll probably still have that characteristic with my friends, but I won't be worrying about my family and all that all the time because I'm gonna be worrying about myself. I don't know, man, but I'm so excited for college. I'm so ready. I think it's like less than 50 days away, and I have to drive there, unfortunately, because I'm gonna bring my car. That's gonna be, oh, I have to actually pay for that permit. Mm, it's like $500. And I'm not gonna have a roommate. I'm in a room by myself because I am a loner. I am not a social butterfly, just kidding, I can be. But also it'll be nice because I can record videos without having to worry. And sometimes, because the thing about college is you're always with people, 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 people. So the nice thing about having my own dorm room is it's just the one time that I get to be by myself and go into my cocoon and fall asleep. But fun fact too, just quick, another update for this video is pretty much done. Um. I'm not going to major in biology anymore and I don't know if I want to be a PA. Yay! Indecisiveness Erica! Um, so I'm just going in next year's undecided or undeclared, I don't know what it's called. Also, oh my gosh, quick thing before I go, I am almost at 50,000 subscribers. I wanted to thank you guys so much and I didn't ever think that this, that was going to happen. Um, when I started this YouTube channel, like, the dream goal was 100,000 subscribers. Now, of course, if I don't get there, I'm going to be grateful anyways. But I'm just, like, being honest. Like, that was, like, oh my gosh, if I could get that, that would be, like, the dream. And I'm halfway there. And that's just crazy to me. And I guess I just wanted to thank you for that. And I don't want to make, like, this whole cheesy thing. Am I in focus? Probably not. Awesome. I don't want to make, like, this whole cheesy thing about it. But I just wanted to thank you. And, um, yeah, it's been awesome. I I love having my YouTube channel. And although I don't ever think it'll be a career or something, it's just something fun to make. So, yeah, that's just this little update video. Um, well, it wasn't so much an update. It's just kind of me, like, word vomit kind of all over your faces, so now you have just a little piece of my brain on you. <laughs> so yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!